Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jayla Danae. Hey, hey, wah, ah, ah. And please don't mind that broken nail. We all know how that be. So today, what I'm gonna be doing for y'all is showing you how to turn this into some luxurious locks, girl. <laughs> So the flat iron I'm going to be using is a Lange flat iron. I'm not sure where I got it, but I use it on 450 heat. So you got to be very, very careful. So the protectant that I will be using for my hair is the Garnier Fruity Style, the flat iron perfecter. And I got this from Walmart. So next what you will need is a brush, a white girl brush, whatever you call it. And you will also need a comb to chase your straightener. And mine's is very burnt because my straightener gets very hot. But girl, ain't nothing wrong with that. And also what you might need that might be optional is some gel. So now what I will be doing is I will be taking my hair down and brushing it out with the white girl brush. Now when brushing your hair, you want to make sure you start from your ends and work your way up and make sure you remove all of the naps because it's going to be very hard to straighten with some nappy hair, girl. And by the way, y'all, I'm listening to music, so don't think I'm just crazy over there dancing, looking dumb, because I'm listening to music, okay? And for anybody that's wondering, yes, my hair used to be a dark black and I try to dye it like a blonde, but this is what came out and I kind of like it. So if you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below. So now my hair is all brushed out, as you can see, looking all big and puffy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it in half and put half of it up and start on the other half. I'm just going to warn y'all now that I make the ugliest faces when I do my hair. Like, do anybody else do that? Comment in the comments below if y'all do that. So when you're spraying your protectant, you want to make sure you don't spray too much and not a, too little. So just make sure you evenly distribute it throughout your hair so it gets everywhere. So what you're going to be doing with this comb is you're going to have it literally right underneath the straightener. Like every time you straighten, make sure you have that comb. So it's basically like chasing the straightener just to make sure no naps are still there, you know, just to give you a good look. And it really does help.
I'ma let y'all know now. I be listening to some bangers, y'all. Like, my music playlist be hitting. So don't come for me talking about some girl you listen to country music. Whatever. And also what I've noticed when you straighten your hair is to make sure you don't straighten too big of a piece. Make sure it's like a medium to small size piece and you will get your best results that way. And guess what he asked me y'all? He literally asked me to wrap his foot in the middle of a video. I can't believe this. And yes, I know I need my ends trimmed. I got my appointment tomorrow. Do y'all see how well this finish is on this flat iron? Like, my hair is so straight and it's so silky and smooth. So I'm gonna try to find what it is and leave the link in the description below. So here's the finish on the first half. It looks so good. So I'll be back when I'm done with the second half. So now I am done and this is how it looks. Ooh, period. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the end of the rat tail comb and just making sure that that part is nice and crisp and straight. So now I'll be taking my edge brush that I got from Dollar General and just taking like the little piece in the front and like kind of swirling it 
because um, sometimes it's very hard to get that with the straightener. So I just like to put a little bit of gel on it and like swoop it to the side, which is optional. Another thing I want to say is be very cautious with the gel because it's a very, very tacky gel and once it dries, it's going to be really sticky, so try not to put too much. Next, what I'll be doing is applying some lashes because you know you can't forget lashes. They make you feel so much better. I got these from my friend Aisha. I'll leave a link to her to Instagram in the description. I will be applying these with some lash adhesive from Kiss. I got this from Dollar General. This is the best lash adhesive I've ever had. So when applying the lash glue, you just want to make sure that you spread it out evenly throughout the lash and don't put too much. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to let it air dry or like blow it off or something so it can get like the tackiness to apply it. And y'all, can we just take a minute and look at my skin? Like my skin used to be so bad. And it looks so good. I'm so proud. If y'all want a skincare routine, please let me know in the comments below. I will do that. So when applying the lashes, you want to make sure you apply it to your lash line. Don't put it too high or too low because then they won't look natural. When I have them applied, I'm just going to air dry it with my hand and then I'm going to get some witch hazel that I got from Walmart and a Q-tip and just remove the excess glue from the top of the lash.
So now I'm gonna get my eyelash spoolie that I got from Walmart and just bump my eyelashes up and blend my natural eyelashes in with the false eyelashes. So my last and final step would be to apply my lip gloss and I apply Carmex first and then the lip gloss on top of it. My favorite lip gloss is this lip oil. I got it from my local beauty supply store. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I went from this to this and like literally with literally two steps and you don't need much. You literally just need a flat iron and eyelashes and lip gloss. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video so all your friends can see it. And yeah, see y'all next time.